Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in this video we have an Asus TOF gaming laptop. This one is an Asus TOF with a CPU Ryzen 7 GTX 1660 Ti and this one exactly is an Asus FX505D model. That information is at the back sticker under the laptop. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how to install the Windows 10 freshly installed of the USB boot drive. I made a video just on how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description if you guys want to go through and know how to create your Windows 10 USB drive. It is free of charge of doing it. You don't have to pay anything and it's directly from Microsoft website. So you don't have to actually go ahead and pirate or do anything like that. So check that link if you want to create. If you know how to create your Windows 10 boot drive, then let's continue. All right, so in here we have made a video how to upgrade the SSD and we have replaced the mechanical drive. So we're going to install the Windows 10 on an M.2 NVMe SSD here. And so to do that, pretty much all you need to do is to plug in the USB into any USB port right in on the laptop. Then you want to power on. If you already upgraded the hard drive, simply you just want to power it on. So let me see if it's going to focus. Let's go ahead and power it on so it can focus. I'm going to press delete or F2 so it can take me to the BIOS menu. So keep pressing F2 and delete, just tapping on F2 and delete. And it should take me to the BIOS. There we go. In here, it's going to give you boot priority. It's already detected that your Samsung flash drive, so it's detecting my USB drive here. The boot menu should be f8 so boot menu let's go to the f8 see how's the boot menu uh, so we have only one boot menu the samsung one so we're just going to click cancel so right now we're going to just exit save and exit and it's going to start detecting my i can't click on it there we go click save and exit so right now it's going to restart and it's going to detect my usb and it's going to read through it so let's just wait the fans on these ones are really loud. All right, this installation is in Spanish, but I'm just gonna take you on a step-by-step -step how to do it. So pretty much you choose your language and you wanna click like an hour, date and time. Pretty much we just gonna leave the way it is. Just click next and click install now in the middle. Now it's gonna take you on some agreement, terms and licensing, I believe. This whole process takes about five minutes, so it's really fast on these hard drives. So it's gonna take me through this uh, licensing. So I'm just gonna click, I don't have a license key on the bottom here, so click on that. And then it's gonna bring you a terms and license. Just read if you wish and click I accept checkbox and click next. And in here you wanna click the custom. Don't click on update, upgrade. Just click on the bottom one here, the one that says customize. Click on this one. And in here, you're gonna see two space, the two hard drives, drive zero and drive one. The drive zero is your mechanical drive, and drive one is your NVMe hard drive, which is 500 gig. If you have upgraded, or if you didn't upgrade, you're just gonna have one simple drive. If you have a few whole partition, you wanna delete all the partitions until the delete button becomes gray, and then the whole partition becomes one big, huge, empty space. Then you want to click on empty space that you want to install the windows. In this case, I'm going to install my windows on my SSD, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to click next. Now it's going to go through installation and it might do one or two restart. And it's going to take you to the welcome screen. This process on NVMe hard drives are really extremely fast. So I believe we should be there within four minutes. So let's see. From 0 to 2% it's kind of a little slow, but then it just goes in really fast.
All right, so it's doing the first restart, so it's doing some preparation and it's stuff getting ready. So we're just gonna let it go through a few restarts and we're just gonna wait until it goes to the welcome screen. It is very important that you do not connect to an internet cable or anything like that because we don't want to install the bloatware or anything on the system. This is very, very important. And so watch to the end of the video. I'm going to show you guys how to prevent it, the Windows installing all those Candy Crush game or McAfee antivirus and many other stuff that they come affiliated with Microsoft. So we want to prevent them from installing. So in for to do that, we're going to prevent it from installing uh, connecting to Internet during installation. Once we get to the desktop, we're going to remove few stuff and then we can connect to Internet safely and do the updates. So I'm going to show you guys that at the end of the video, once we get to the desktop. All right, there we go. Now we are almost to the welcome screen. So. All right, now it's going to tell you to choose your region and you're going to choose US or Mexico, whatever you're located and or the client that wants it. If the client wants Mexico, just click Mexico. And for the next one is a, a keyboard. What kind of keyboard do you have? You have a US layout keyboard, choose a US. You have a whatever language, just choose it, click next. And you want to add an additional keyboard, just click uh, skip and this next step you said you want to connect to the wi-fi you're going to click no i do not have wi-fi connection even if you do have it it's very important and click continue with a limited configuration on the site here and now you want to remove all this give a name for your laptop click enter for the password, you can leave it blank. And this next step, you want to remove all these checks in here. This is the location and all those information that uh, the computer can send out to Microsoft. You don't want it to send for advertisement ID or all those stuff. So pretty much scroll down and make sure you remove all of them. And then click accept. And for the Cortana to ease up your work, click right now, not right now. And then that should be all. Now it should take you straight to the desktop. And in the desktop right now, I'm going to show you what are we going to do easily. All right, once you're in the desktop for the Microsoft Edge, you want to click later, maybe later. And I don't like this search bar to be long, so I'm going to right click on the taskbar, go on the search and click only icon. Now we're going to come to the start menu before connecting to the internet. These are all these ones I'm talking. These are the blood words that you're going to get automatically downloaded once you get internet access. So we're going to right click on each one of them and we're going to unpin them from here. As long as you right click and unpin them, once you get internet connection, they're not going to get downloaded in here. There's a whole bunch of them inside there. So just right click on all of them here and just click unpin and unpin all this arrow. These are the McAfee, Triversions and Candy Crush and many other garbage that they just come installing. And the rest of the stuff, you can just leave it. Or if you have a license for your Microsoft Office, add your license. Or if you want to install your own, just uninstall it. You can click uninstall right there and uh, for this one i just uninstall them pretty much the rest is whatever you want to do you can unpin them from here and they will not unnecessarily get uninstalled or anything because these are already installed so pretty much you are unpinning them from here but those arrows they will just be sitting there waiting for you to get internet connection so they can quickly get installed so once you removed unpin them and did whatever you want to do here now you can connect to the internet to your wi-fi with a cable or with a connection whatever connection you got this available and then you can go to the configuration start menu configuration and in here you want to go to windows update 
and then you want to click uh, look for an update and it's going to look for a whole big list of updates for the drivers and everything like that you might do a few restarts and come back and check again until you get a green check mark here and that should be all for installing your windows and now when you go to my computer you should see two hard drives in here uh, I see my USB thumb drive, so I'm gonna unpin my USB thumb drive that I have for Windows. Now, that I, I did add another one terabyte mechanical drive, but it's not showing up in here. So to show it up in there, we're just gonna right click on my computer. We are gonna go to administrator, and it's gonna open an administrator panel right now. And in here, we're gonna go to the disk administration, disk management, in here, we're gonna see a one terabyte hard drive. We're gonna right click on it and we're gonna create a new simple volu volume. So just click next, 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 and give the name. So you can change the name whenever you want. One terabyte. And click next and it's gonna just format and it's gonna assign a volume. And you should be able to see it on your computer. So there you go, that's your one terabyte hard drive. And that should be all. I hope you guys liked this video and I helped you guys out to do your own installation for your Windows. If you did, please click that like button and think about subscribing. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.